Okay, how's it going, guys? Uh, my name is Cameron Burgess, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, preserve uh, a, a dead snake in alcohol. Now, this this is a copperhead. Uh, I did not kill it. It was found DOR, which means dead on the road, which means someone hit it with a car. Uh, very unfortunate, but it happens uh, on today's roadways. So, uh, I never like to let things like this go to waste. Um, sure, it, you can leave it out there for predators to eat, but there's a heck of a lot more DOR snakes. Removing one won't hurt. Um, but this is a fairly big animal. It's about 38 inches. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to preserve it because something like this, I really don't want to take the skin off. Partially because it's got kind of rips and tears right there, so the skin wouldn't be perfect, but as long as I can position it that way in the jar where the skin tears don't show, uh, it should be okay. And uh, you see me playing around with the head right here. Uh, don't do this with a venomous snake like this. Even though they are dead, you can still prick your finger and uh, and cause yourself a lot of pain. So uh, to start off, we have uh, just your regular old run-of-the-mill rubbing alcohol at 70% concentration. Uh, you can use higher, but I would suggest uh, not. I'd suggest using 70%. It's always worked best for me. Uh, and we have, well, the camera's going all crazy. Just a second. Okay. And we have a jar. Uh, it's a decent sized jar for this type of snake. And uh, I have a needle. I don't have a needle because I'm shooting up heroin. I have a needle because I have to inject the alcohol into the snake. Because simply putting it into the alcohol in the jar, uh, it won't penetrate soon enough to catch it. So uh, it'll eventually just, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It'll rot inside before the alcohol gets a chance to go through. So I'll pour a little bit of alcohol in the lid. Just a little bit. And I'm going to go down the body with the syringe. And uh, inject every now and then. I'd say about once every inch or two would be best. And uh, keep in mind, this is going to be kind of a long video. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Might be boring. But, you're not going to learn how to do it if you don't watch. And, uh, since I'm sitting here and I don't have anything else to talk about, how about we talk about this snake species. Uh, this right here is an intergrade for, between the southern and northern copperhead. Uh, the Latin names for those, the northern is Echistrodon contortrix uh, macasin. And the southern is Echistrodon contortrix contortrix. Uh, the, the males always get bigger. This is a male. Uh, the largest male I've ever found or ever seen alive was just this size, about 38 inches. Uh, they're very impressive animals when they're alive. I love seeing them alive. I hate seeing them dead. Um, but... Uh, they, uh, they're nocturnal animals as a general rule, uh, especially during summer like it is now when it's you know 95 during the day and it's about uh, 78 at night. Uh, they'll come out at night and feed, forage, look for food. Uh, this, that's how these guys get hit most of the time is because they're out at night and uh, they'll be on the roads. And uh, people will just hit them. Some people hit them out of spite. Some people will hit them. Uh, because they don't see them. They're, I mean, believe it or not, they're kind of hard to see on, on a road at night. Uh, not, not in particular these, but, you know, like racers or rat snakes, they're very hard to see on a black road at night. But uh, these snakes naturally eat uh, frogs when they're younger. They'll even take frogs at this size, but they'll eat frogs, mice, rats when they're this big. This could take a rat. Um, and even cicadas, they'll climb trees to, to get cicadas. And it's very odd to think of a stocky snake like this climbing, but they'll do it on occasion. Alright, just about done with the injections here. Get one more in the tail and then we'll continue on. Go. 
Okay, so always close your needle. Don't want anybody coming in and poking themselves with it. All right, now that you've got your snake uh, injected with the alcohol, so it hopefully doesn't uh, doesn't spoil inside the jar. You open your jar up. Uh, any jar will work as long as it seals tightly, so you don't get any airflow in it. You really wouldn't like to smell this. Uh, doesn't smell too bad after it's been in there for a while, but it's just it's still not pleasant. Okay, and uh, depending on how you want it to sit, you will either go tail first or uh, head first. Uh, I always like mine coiled up, starting with the tail. And remember, the uh, cuts are on this side, so I'm going to try to get this side facing outwards. So let's see. Let's see if I can get this done. The snake, his, uh, the rigor mortis has already sort of set in a little bit. It's going to be... Ugh. It's kind of hard to do with a big snake like this. Blood going everywhere, my phone just rang, and... Sorry if that little bit of white is in you guys' way. Shouldn't be too much. Blood going everywhere. Can't be squeamish when you're doing this, man. Especially not working around just dead animals in general like I do. I skin snakes that are DOR. I'll do this. I've, uh, I've got a crow over there dead in a in a container and I've got some dermistid beetles cleaning that out. Cleaning it off for me. They're doing a very good job. I didn't even uh, pick them up intentionally. I just uh, picked up the dead crow and they happened to be on it already so just let them take do their their job. Okay. Got him in here. I want to position the head like I want it. Okay. All right, and uh, I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Looks okay. I can see it from the top. All right, tell you what, guys, the video is just gonna have to be from an angle like that, okay? Because it's it refuses to stay up. All right, and uh, at this point, just pour your alcohol in. to a certain point. I always like to kind of have mine uh, above the snake, but not at the very top of the jar, just in case I ever want to open the jar one day. I don't want uh, dead snake juice pouring all over me. Seal it up tight. And there you go. You get all the air bubbles to come to the top. But uh, you've got yourself a nice jarred snake. And uh, that'll keep for years and years and years. Alright guys, thanks for watching.